Taurus. Welcome. This is you. This is all about you guys. This is your weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries from October 6th through the 15th of 2019, including a full moon in Aries, which, ooh, we're gonna get to that energy that's popping off, holy moly. So, uh, welcome for those of you who are just arriving. This is my channel, Born Without Boundaries, and I am Michelle. I'm so glad that you found me. Uh, for those of you who are returning, thank you for your constant support and patronage. Um, there is a commercial that's gonna be coming up in a couple of seconds. Um, I just wanna let you guys know, that's the only commercial after that, the message will be completely and totally uninterrupted. I'll start the message after the commercial. Uh, thank you so much for your patience through the commercial. Uh, whether you know it or not, that actually helps the channel to grow and helps to support the channel. So without you doing really anything at all, maybe, maybe you're taking a pee, maybe you're going to get in some chips, just let the commercial roll and I'll be right back. So for those of you who just sat through an um, awkward pause, thank you. For those of you who sat through the commercial, it really helps out. So once again, thank you so much. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. Um, there will be an extended full tarot card reading and romance specific reading uh, on Vimeo that is linked to this reading. It's in the description box. If you just look in this description box, the description box below, you'll find that link to the Vimeo video. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to show your love and actually do give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. That's that red uh, rectangle box below and ring that bell so you know when I go live, which is basically every day, Taurus. I'm doing some uh, live, I do my dailies live now and I also am able to give some uh, one question answers. Oh, I love lives, they're my most, it's, it's my favorite thing. So I hope you can join us, Taurus. And the cards have started to come out. Taurus energy, October. Mmm, and they're not stopping. They not stopping. They keep popping. What do you want to tell me for Taurus this week? Taurus sun, moon, rising sign. And yes, whenever you see this video, it is the right time. There's also a lot of other great videos you want to look through. They're all marked in a playlist, so you can look them up really easily. See where you guys were a couple of weeks ago. I like four for you. There's four cards on the table. That's a strong earth energy number. None of them has turned. Sorry. You are never alone. Taurus, this is my true love card. This is, in other words, this week is heating up for you in terms of romance. This is, I, I could feel it. I could feel how attractive and appealing you are. You're just sort of magnetic and people are just, they can't take their eyes off of you. You tend to, you are ruled by Venus. So you guys got the good looks too. Not trying to kiss ass. I'm just saying, Taurus, it's all about you. It's all about the heart space. I have a feeling that you're also very, very romantic this week. You're going to have that kind of lovey, mushy, gushy, really attentive to your spouse or really attentive to your beauty so that you know that you're attractive to people. I think that you are really going to be able to get the person's attention that you want this week. If you have your eye on somebody, this is definitely the week to make sure to, this is definitely the week that you're going to get their attention. Now, hopefully that also means you're going to get their affection. This is my true love card. Like this is finding a soulmate kind of card. So if it's not a specific person, like when this card comes out, I try to keep these readings very general and do the specific romance reading on Vimeo. But when this card comes out, it is about the heart. It is about the home. It's about what matters most to you. And it's very healthy and alive and thriving this week. So there's a lot of amorous love in the air. There's a lot of not necessarily sexuality, but needing to be close to somebody and definitely combining yourself with them. So this is a level up in a relationship or finally meeting somebody for the first time. If you've been single for a while, um, this is that week, Taurus. I just, I just have this, it's just, Oh, oh, some, 
somebody like they they can't take their eyes off you and if you have more than one option one is going to stand out loud and clear like no matter how many options you have and this kind of energy might attract multiple suitors multiple opportunities if you're looking for something that is in terms of your work this could be multiple job offers it's this that the universe is singling you out this week, Taurus, as the beneficiary of some excellent karma and some wonderful status in life. And love is the center of it. So love of you, appreciation of you, you standing out. If this is an opportunity that you have been looking for and you were up for something that you really cared about. And what I have a feeling is that you are, there's potential for something that you really, really care about in your life you either went out for, you auditioned for, or you sent the letter or the email or the DM to the person that you were interested in. This week, it's working for you. This is like Cupid's arrow has struck the target and you are going to be irresistible. You are absolutely going to get big fat yeses all friggin' week. This is the energy that is crowning the reading. Peacock, let it shot. You're the star of the show the week, this week. Like, there's no other way to say it. Whether you're singing, you're communicating yourself, your people want to listen to you. They love your beauty. They find you extremely attractive. You could be dealing with a Scorpio if you're because it's a Scorpio card. Um, but this is also like a new lease in life, kind of like resurrecting, rising from the ashes. You've gone through like a, a really hard, hard period, like in, especially in the summertime. I know you guys were going through some major issues. So honestly, Taurus, what is this? This is Saturn direct saying you deserve it. You're worth it. Let's give you some happiness. Let's give you some love. The light is shining on you. Somebody is going to call out your name this week. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is going to call out your name. Somebody is going to single you out. Somebody is going to put the spotlight on you. Not as in like the strobe light. Like no, but as in picking you out of everybody. They're going to choose you. If you're looking for some good news to come in, this is the week where it's going to come in. I have this feeling that you want something very bad. Because the heart space isn't just from people people from other people on the outside falling in love with you you put your best foot forward to something that you really care about you took the risks you took the bump you took the bruises and now you're going to take the accolades the awards the attention and a little bit of glamour there's there's some part of this that has to do with you being able to show up in your tucks and tails in your best um yeah, in your in your best outfits, it's going to give you uh, opportunities to show yourself off to the world. Um, you will have the spotlight on you this week. It's the best way to put it. Be loyal to what you love. Oh my God, it just keeps getting freaking better. This is a very, in other words, it's a very reliable energy. It's a very trustworthy energy, but it's you. This is you. Remember what I said that this isn't just about you being loved. This is about something that you love. It could be about your children. It could be about your career. It could be about the one that you love. Bottom line, Taurus, this week, you are in the thick and the juicy and the decadent and the delightful of what you love to do. You are getting an opportunity to do what you love to do, something that you've always dreamed of, something that you've always wanted. Maybe it's a vacation that you want to go on, whatever it is. Or if you haven't started anything in motion yet, this is your week. This is the week that you take the chance because it's not a chance. It's an absolute certainty. You're going to get your way. This is like, this is like, I've mentioned it before in other readings. This is your Felix, Felix Felicious week. This is like you have drunk the potion of luck. There's no stopping you this week. And whoever you meet this week is going to be in your life long term. In other words, whoever you work with, this is not a fleeting opportunity. This is not just this week is going to be really good and then 
No, whatever you bring into, and this is why I'm saying activate your heart space and shine out and show the people, people, your heart, like show your, show what you want, go after what you want this week, because whatever you go after this week is going to want you back. And it's going to be in your life for a long period of time. Dog energy is the most loyal of the deck. It is the most reliable, the truest heart unconditional love, unconditional commitment. This is an energy that is going to stay with you until the day it dies. And this is what I'm saying is like, this is something that you want to commit yourself to. So it's not just a bunch of people that you're not attracted to being attracted to you or a bunch of opportunities that you aren't interested in. Oh, no, no, no. You love this. You love whatever opportunities you're taking or a taking a chance on. You love this more than life itself. You love it unconditionally. And what I'm saying for you this week is it's going to love you back. So don't be afraid to ask because the person who's listening, like call out your purpose, call out your reason, call out your goals, like shine, like let your peacock unfurl because these are the, remember dog ears, they can hear anything. They're the ones that are receiving these messages from you and there's nothing but unconditional love here. <laughs> I mean, what? Time to heal. And then snake pops out. The fuck is that? I'll tell you what it is. What it means is that you have a hypnotic quality about you this week and that change is happening. In other words, this is all about you being able to get the opportunity to heal. It's about the opportunity for all of those things that seemed wrong in your life, all of those things that feel uncomfortable, all of those things that feel like they're scary to you. Not anymore. You have a hypnotic appeal this week. Um, that is going to basically fill in all those pieces that other people or other challenges tore off of you over the summer. You're going to get them all filled in. It also means, Taurus, that you are intoxicating this week, um, that you have people sort of you're coil, like um, sort of all coiled up and all wrapped up and that you're going to strike. You're going to strike and your aim is down deadly this week. It's right on target. It's right on target. I don't like this way that the way the snake is looking at this dog. I'm going to pull some more cards. What the fuck? Taurus. Taurus. October. October 6th through the 15th of 2019. This is charming. It's almost like you've charmed somebody that's really hard to charm. That's what it is. It's like, it's like your honesty and your sincerity and your commitment has charmed somebody who's almost impossible to get loyalty from. Charming the snake, charming the killer, charming the uncharmable. That's what you're doing this week. Getting your Venus on. Another beautiful card has come out. This is your second chance at life. This is you coming out of the dark, your life coming out of the dark and, and, and shining. This is also, and I'm going to show you the cards, Taurus, 555. It is a huge change. It's a change in you. It's a change in you. It's not, this change hasn't happened randomly. It's because you've gone through sort of almost like a dark night of the soul. And this is you coming out the other side. This is you seeing the light and understanding um, yeah, but it's, it's understanding, understanding what was it? What I wanted, what I wanted to say, understanding that you had to go through those hard times. You had to go through the struggles, learning from them, um, um, accepting them, but you're finally like suckling the honey of life. There is a huge change this week for you. Huge turnaround. And I have to say this, whatever was hurting you, whatever was harming you, whatever was holding you back is exposed this week. It's almost like Ricky Tiki Tavi and the snake, but this is the Ricky Tiki Tavi. I know Ricky Tiki Tavi was a mongoose, but also a dog. It's like <clears throat> something, so the, the people who are very loyal to you, the people who very, right now you're, you're surrounded by people who really loyal to you, really like you, really care about you, right? 
um, and they're calling out and they're shining the light on any kind of snakes in the grass or any kind of dark thing that would come into swoop, swoop again. In other words, finally you're coming out of the dark. Finally you're coming up into the light. Finally people are noticing you, paying attention to you, really giving you credit, the credit that you want, the credit that you deserve, uh, Taurus. Um, and there's no, there's, there, even if somebody tried to harm you this week, they can't harm you. This is, this is a change that comes from deep, deep down in the dark places. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, I feel like it's a change in the core of everything that you are. There's a lot of Plutonian energy in this reading as well. Somebody else got a lot of Plutonian energy. They got the peacock too. Was it Aries? Yeah, I think it was Aries. I'll attach Aries above. Look for that above. Um, it's almost like there was a danger. There was a threat in this week of beauty and happiness. There is somebody who tried to get at you and strike at you, but the people who are loyal to you are going to rip them apart. Light is going to be shed on the potential deception. Light is going, it's a, in other words, the coup is going to be quelled as soon as it rises up. There's nobody is like it, who, whatever was keeping you down, you're going to understand. You're going to see it's going to be revealed. And that's going to help you continue and move on. Trust in divine detours, but it comes upside down. In other words, Taurus, you don't have to run anymore. You don't have to hide. Um, there's no reason to change your course. You are exactly where you belong. Mm -hmm. You found your home. Wow, oh, a lot of cards want to come out for you. A lot of cards want to come out for you this, this week. Big messages for Taurus. Don't worry, I will also turn the camera around so you can see the full the full spread. Um okay. Um the abundant universe will provide Buffalo Spirit. Uh, I think I think that basically you could be sh essentially you're shedding your need of home, you're finding your independence, and you're breaking through any other people's st and essentially you're deciding to believe in yourself even though it's not easy. Let me let me turn the, the camera around. Okay, Taurus. So now you can get a, a clear view of the cards. This is, um, both of these have turned upside down and I don't like it. This started out as a really happy, wonderful reading. And then all of these things turned upside down. I feel like your sense of self, Taurus, was attached to, it's like almost like your sense of self, this is your, this is your card. This is your energy. It's like your sense of self, you're reinventing your sense of self. There has been something that has basically disconnected you from your home, from your hearth feeling of where you belong. Maybe it was, it was a huge change. You see, this is what I wanted to show you. Five, five, five. There was a huge change in your life where you literally were exposed to the light from almost being hidden for a very long time. Um, in other words, it was a place, maybe you were in the same job for an extended period of time. You lived, you just moved to a different state or something like that towards. There was an attachment of your sense of self to this old place that you considered home. And this week, you're breaking through that. You're deciding to take the leap of faith in those people who are around you now, the place that's around you now, the opportunities that are around you now, and it's going to grow to great abundance. You see that this is the time. You could also be dealing with a Virgo, okay? A Virgo, this is very Virgo energy. This is very nurturing. This is very plant your seeds and... Um, um, watch it grow and cultivate it. That's very uh, Virgo energy, um, which is a very compatible sign for you. 
essentially at a time in your life when you felt like everything was backwards and you felt like you did not belong, here comes this shining light of a beauty, a beautiful energy that shows you you actually do belong where you are now. This is a big change in your life. It's like you're finally this week, this week, getting comfortable in your new shoes. It's like they've stopped scratching you. They stopped tearing up your ankles. They've stopped blistering your feet. And, and it's where you belong now. It's the shoes. It's almost feels like the, they're the shoes that you should have always been in. It's almost like you're cracking through with this new sense of self. You're leaving your old home and your old way of being behind that's over with. You don't need that anymore. It could be that you're getting out of a situation with another Taurus or a Leo and you're meeting this new energy, this new person that you're coming into contact with. This is, this is finding your home and finding your future in a new place after a change that was very difficult and very hard for you. And I can tell you in terms of karma, that's why this week is going to be so beautiful for you because you've paid your dues you're you're coming out of this is like a cracked egg it's almost like you're coming out of um hardship you're coming out of betrayal you're coming out of um you know people not believing in you or not seeing you for your your full worth this week that karma is paying it's 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 paying you back it's going to be on your side for whatever you plant. Whatever seeds you plant now are going to reap delicious, beautiful, bountiful fruit. Get ready for some serious changes though. Changes in where you want to be. It's almost like you had this energy of you were looking for a way out or you were thinking like you didn't fit in or you, it didn't, you didn't belong where you were. And now there's this huge breakthrough this week of people really appreciating you, really loving you, and you basically finding your tribe or finding somebody who is your soulmate. Because this, this snake is going to try to get this dog. There's no fucking way. This dog is going to sniff him out and rip him up. Like the hardship is done. This is a week of total regeneration coming out of the dark and finding a new home, some place that was some place that was unexpected, Unex an unexpected new home. This is a hundred percent the week for you to ask for whatever you want from the universe, from work, from whatever. These are the only two cards that concern me a little bit because this is compromised sense of self and this is sort of a lack of resources. Yeah, so I want to I want to go a little bit deeper and understand what may be happening there. I still feel like overall this energy is a, it's a very strong week for you. It's just the change is going to happen so much that I feel like it throws you off balance. But here comes this little Virgo to help you. There's definitely this beautiful Virgo new life energy. This is a new life. It's like you shed your old life and now you're putting, now, now, this is a five card too. 50, five, 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 55, five, and 57. This is manifesting something new out of the ashes of something old. This is, this is you reconstructing who you are and finding your, your new voice. If you want to, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the specifics about these two cards over on Vimeo. I hope you do follow me over there. We're going to do a full tarot card spread and I'm also going to pull romance, um, a little bit, a uh, specific romance reading with the whispers of love. Um, Thank you so much for watching, Taurus. Please do remember to like this video. Also, if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm at born underscore without underscore boundaries on Instagram. Um, I try to post a lot of stuff there. Um, yeah, you can find me a lot of different places, but I definitely hope to see you over, over on Vimeo. I will. Oh, oh, leave your comments below. Let me know how this week is going. This is really curious. I'll talk to you guys soon.